If ever I saw an exquisite piece of highlight opal perched on a matrix, let's first of all take you through the matrix. Feldspar, maybe a little bit of quartz iron oxides uh, uh, coating over here. And then here the coating, or the it's almost the cast of the highlight opal which goes through the top. Now highlight opal, very, very interesting. I think on this side is maybe a better example. Uh, you see that almost a glow going across these uh, almost worms. It looks like little worms, gem worms running across the stone. And that would be what we call the daytime fluorescence. You can clearly see that there. Under shortwave UV light, uh, uh, this whole section would fluoresce a bright yellow to green. Actually, even going across here, magnificent fluorescence on this highlight from the Irongo and, and surrounds Namibia. Now, let's have a closer look at these sections this would be or uh, well i'd say stalagmite stalactites almost a, a worm-like formation it actually imagine a, a running glue across a specimen just normal glue and letting it solidify these are gem see-through so you can actually look through these little uh, almost uh, well but definitely botryoidal formations of the highlight opal to see what lies beneath on the on the matrix in some sections i've found the likes of fluoride trapped of course you'll probably have girth trapped here and and in some cases even the shell tourmaline size wise we're looking at a half a palm size very good size lovely piece lovely color on this one and of course fluorescence uh, uh, it'll leave you breathless